All right, all right, all right. One less than a minute before the inventory report comes out. Coming out at, on Thursday at uh, 10 a.m. instead of 9.30. Let's see what we got here. Any surprises coming? Today is uh, September 5th, 2017. Thursday, September 5th, 2017. So we see a blue bar, and we also see a new high on the day, and it's continuing to make new highs. <clears throat> Fifty-seven sixty-nine current high. I need one minute to go by before I can get in. Fifty one, fifty seven, You high by three ticks there. Fifty eight. Hold on. Fifty one. Three P move would bring it to fifty six sixty two.
one P down move from here is 21, 57, 21. The high is 57.76. Let's measure a 3P move from the high. It would be 56.87. Although I like 5.666 coming down, we'll call it 56.67 right now. Fifty six plus five is sixty one will hold sixty one. All right, so fifty seven fifty one, a one P down move is twenty one, if we can get it. Although I like, we call it 57.22. 21 below that is 56.92. And then we have the target of 56.62. Let's go ahead and get the break even here. He either wants to run or not.
3557 right there at 45. And then 2652. And you see highest red, what, 1299. Okay, we need to get through 28 now.
pause. All right, so here's my thought process. We weren't able to break down at the beginning here. It's showing some signs of strain. We've been up yesterday and we're up today. We're actually trading above R1. We take a couple shots above here. Edit. Um, it's acting like there's some business to be done up here. It's being supported right now. The best chance for it to go down is already passed, in my humble opinion. I'm going to pause and uh, might just be done on the day right now at down 10. Wait for another day. All right, that's going to do it for this video. This is Dave Knight here for 123daytrade.com. I'm going to um, let's go back here and pull up this uh, market. Uh, it looks like a, you know, it went up back up here to 5770. The high is 5776. I, I'm expecting the market to get above this and go up here for the $58 a barrel. It's probably going to take uh, this sell off here was probably just uh, uh, some of the uh, people that don't want to be caught on this move coming back up through here this next time getting out in front of what's going to end up being a higher high. At least that's my humble opinion. What I'm, I'm, But it doesn't matter what I think. It really doesn't. Uh, as far as the inventory strategy, we took two shots at it today. Or at least I did. And uh, took two shots at it. I ended up minus 10. I'm going to stay to that. Uh, uh, I'm going to leave one trade available for me on my, you know, trade. try to stay between three to five trades in a, set, in a day or a session, I should say. I want to save that third trade for 2 to 2.30 today. Uh, excuse me, it'll be 1 to 1.30 Central Time. So 2 o'clock my time. 1 one thirty. See if there's anything to do. I I just don't like the way it's setting up. This is uh, I, I just don't like it. I mean, if you don't like something, it's not in your uh, as the old saying goes in baseball. It's not in my wheelhouse. These aren't my good trading days when the market's trading above R1 and uh, the market doesn't decisively move down. Uh, most of my biggest winning days happen after when it's above R1 when the market moves down quickly and doesn't think about looking back. Uh, the best opportunity for it was at the beginning and you can tell that by looking just at the 10 minute chart here. In my humble opinion, here's the best opportunity for the market to try to come down and here's where we were in trying for to catch it and the best opportunity for it to break was right in this area so um, but it's still this is a strong signal and it's been a couple days it's been strong so you got the 200 bar SMA way down here so there's a, there's a retracement trade coming it's definitely coming. There's going to be a nice retracement trade. Now, does it happen during the uh, American time to trade the U.S. markets? Or does it happen in the overnight? Who knows? But there's a retracement. There's definitely a retracement trade coming at some point. It just doesn't look so good at this point, in my humble opinion. It's... You know, I mean, this is not in my wheelhouse. It's going to do it for me. Talk to you later.